It's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Catherick and took his netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been... brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash. Fiercely. I suspected that when we took Catherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders, and I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An elder brain enslaved is one thing, an elder brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't unwelcome. summary. I have found myself distracted of late. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Not love, no. What I had with Belen Stelmane was much more than that. It was unique, at least when she was alive. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. business partner, back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a Mind Flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. appreciate the offer, but I don't think it will help. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach, and not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Show me great empathy. We are closer now. Close enough, I hope, that I can ask you to reconsider your position regarding your physical form. I know it is no easy choice for you, but we will have a far better time ridding the city of Gortash if you accept just a touch of lividness. Not to mention the Elder Brain itself. Our chances against it greatly improve the more illithid we both are. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. 
I need to focus. And so do you. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. The cat peers back. You read something in its eyes. Doubt. Resignation, perhaps. Very well. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. Hey, I hope you like it. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it.
enough waiting. I crave blood. <clears throat> All right, what now? That's curious. Never wanted the easy path. I wonder what the next move is. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. On my way. Let's get on with it. Have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Find a way forward. Always room for more. Enough waiting. I crave blood. Come on, let's go. What's the sound of ironing will be here any day? Snowing, fretting. The steel watch will be done. Would everyone please stop going on about the Absolute's army? Lord Gortash is going to sort it all out. You'll see.
Time to press ahead. One day I'll catch a break. The boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Unless you're an expert in steel watcher gyroscopics, please get out of my life. You think I want my clan facing down one of those walking death machines with cutlery? Then leave me to my work. Only if you're quick. Now let me get back to it. It stopped. But it'll happen again. It keeps happening. The shivering, shaking, quaking. Don't you feel it? No, no, no. The stone, it, it wouldn't... Something is hurting it. Everything is going to crumble and fall away. We'll be dust. I want to go home. You look different when you're not trying to talk someone down from igniting a barrel of room powder. Chuck your questions at Walbrun. That's his job. I can make time for chatter after you know what's what.
Let's go, Kane. What's next? Still alive. So that's progress. Best be on my way. something to ask good to see you wasn't sure you'd make it to the city regretting it yet I spent a lot of time thinking of worst case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at moonrise I didn't imagine anything as bad as this the Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate and the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you. I hope. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have a common enemy. But neither of us gets what we want until we deal with our biggest obstacle. The Steel Watch. They're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change, freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the watchers are on us like flies on shit. Exactly. You freed us from Ketherick's rotten cells. I reckon you can rid us of these Gondians just as easily. You just need a little assistance, and I can provide it. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A room powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility and boom. Problem solved. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Now they'll die like the dogs they are. Ha! 
I knew you were the practical sort. That's why we get along. The foundry is in the lower city, down by the docks. Beautiful building, belching smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy, but when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Get yourself back to street level. The streets will be clear of watchers in no time. Now you've spoken to the big man, good to see you. Never thought I'd meet you again, let alone fight on the same side. Glad we both made it out of Grimforge alive, and that I didn't have to use that rune powder to make a point. Dead. But Larida should have shown some backbone instead of sitting there waiting to be rescued. That's why we never would have worked. And why she wasn't cut out for the Iron Hand clan. I overheard you're going to be helping us fight the good fight. Knew I would have regretted blowing you up. Better get on with it then. Wolverine wouldn't have put his trust in you for nothing. Your stubby sausage fingers away from my instruments, Sally Hoon. I don't have time to replace them. Locked. But there's no keyhole. Must be a switch or something nearby. Bothering me. I've no work to get on with. I'm an efficient pass. Walking around downstairs, have you? Well, I've got nothing to hide. Those gnomes are victims. They've spent years in exile, no forge to call their own, all because of some ancient bloody grudge. The Gondians think they're the only ones fit to swing a hammer around here. They're wrong. One day they'll learn that the hard way. Until that happens, I'll give those iron hands a roof over their heads. Nothing wrong with it. Now clear off. You want anything else? Go to the shop. I've got work to do. Staring shadow. Refugees. Hindrance breeds madness. Not luck. Try and can pay, but not when you can't pick a pocket correctly. Zog said to leave, so we're leaving. End of story. An efficient path. I've got a long road ahead. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Bob! Bob! 
ancient rock medicine, and it helps me feel a friend. We're going to see the mummy, the dryad, the jimmy, everything. So don't even think about trying to stop us. You can't get in trouble for trap, for trust, for sneaking into places as a kid, right? Just wondering. Kids. Ready by the door. You should do the same. But mummy, I don't want to leave. I know, sweetie. We will be safe in the house. be back. You're definitely the type to enjoy a nasty bit of news, aren't you? You've got that glint in your eye. So, you'll be wanting a copy of today's edition of the Boulder's Mouth Gazette, then. I like making sales. Not my fault, it's the nasty stuff that sells. You want one or not? Have I ever told you you're my favorite customer? You are, it's the truth.